Hi everyone, I'm Pietro Ferri of the Acumap team and today we are here for another tutorial to explain all the settings in Aquamap related to the appearance and visibility of the map uh, and the menu as well. As we can easily see in our main settings menu, we dedicated an entire section to these features. Let's begin with the most intuitive features, menu appearance and map appearance. Changing modes from one option to another one, as you can see for map appearance um, item, we will switch from uh, light mode to dark mode to automatic mode. In the same way, for the map appearance item, we will switch from day mode to night mode to automatic mode. Dark mode and night mode will allow you to reduce high strain and uh, to make uh, reading in the dark easier, but you can also activate uh, the dark mode if you prefer uh, its look and feel. In both cases, with the automatic uh, um, mode, we will allow the, the app to, to change uh, its appearance based uh, on the general settings uh, you set for, uh, for your device. Note that uh, the, the night mode in uh, map appearance uh, will only work in uh, areas covered by vector maps and that the entire menu appearance uh, item uh, and the automatic mode of map appearance item are not available for Android devices. Let's now see the perspective view function. The perspective view uh, will allow you to have a wider and more realistic view of the map uh, in front of your boat icon during the navigation. Uh, in the display option, uh, we, we can switch from uh, never to manual to automatic. Never is quite obvious. Uh, manual will allow you to uh, enable the perspective view at any time uh, by swiping up or down with two fingers. Automatic mode um, will allow you to have uh, the perspective view automatically activated when the map is set on uh, is set in uh, heading heading up mode and uh, automatically disabled um, when the map is set in north up mode. Obviously, with the automatic option. Uh, it's still possible to manually enable or disable the perspective view uh, swiping, swiping up or down with two fingers. Mm, last but not the least, um, we have the section dedicated to map visibility. On this page you can select the, the size for most of the elements uh, on the map, divided by uh, elements uh, actually included in the, in the map, uh, user data such as uh, marker, routes and uh, tracks, and um, any additional data you can find uh, in the map, just like uh, live sharing I'm sharing the icons. Uh, with this last item, uh, use pattern uh, for map areas, um, we allow the user to decide at any time uh, whether or not to see the fill icons of some areas, uh, for example, uh, restricted areas 
uh, anchoring areas or uh, no wake zone as you can see here in the map. Uh, disabling the patterns you will have uh, a cleaner and more understandable uh, map. Uh, that's all for this tutorial. Um, hope this can help and uh, see you next time.